Newcomers to Portland pretty much always get this one wrong until someone lets them know. It's a common street name that's spelled one way, but it's pronounced another. And the reason it always trips people off is an interesting part of where we live. Well, how do you pronounce the name of this street? Uh, I pronounce it Cooch, but a lot of people pronounce it Couch. This well-known street in Portland has nothing to do with furniture. Um, from what I hear, it's Cooch, but I would prefer Couch, personally. <laughs> Why is that? It just sounds less offensive, and that's usually how I've seen that lettering pronounced. Actually, this Cooch is the name of a major figure in Portland history. You know, Cooch was a guy. Oh, I did not know. John H. Cooch was a ship's captain and pioneer from Massachusetts. He sailed to Oregon and eventually served as treasurer for Oregon's provisional government in the mid-1800s. Cooch made a land claim and lived in what's now Northwest Portland's Alphabet District, originally platting the streets A, B, C, etc. Those streets were later renamed, keeping the alphabet ordering and honoring other prominent Portland pioneers. Captain Cooch's legacy includes the park within his original land claim, but despite his contribution to the city, people still get his name wrong on a regular basis. If you're asking for a mailing address, you always say, I live on Couch Street, you know, so they know how to spell it. Well, the Alphabet District is just west of the Pearl District. It, it includes the popular Northwest 21st and 23rd Avenues. Mm -hmm. And in the Alphabet District, a lot of those street names are used in the TV show The Simpsons. Yes. Uh, because uh, Matt Groening is from Portland. I actually went to Lincoln High School. So. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them. Mayor Quimby, Reverend Lovejoy, mm -hmm. Mr. Ned Burns. Flanders. Oh, Flanders. Flanders. How can we forget Flanders? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Best character.